you may now be seated. Good morning, buenos dias. My name is Ed Melanda, and it is my honor to welcome you to the most historical graduation ceremony at LHS. I would like to start by saying thank you to the board members, principals, teachers, parents, and everyone who has made this day possible. Dear graduates, I'll admit, writing this speech was a lot harder than the essays Mr. Paulus gave us in Comp 2. I know these last few moments and months were nothing like we expected them to be. However, we have made it. We are the class who always makes it through regardless of what is going on in the world around us. From the year we were born, we knew that we were the generation to make history. We came into the world during a very hard year for our nation, and now we are graduating during a worldwide pandemic. Class of 2020, we were born to make history. Graduating is only a small stepping stone of what great things we can accomplish. COVID-19 will not stand in the way of our hopes and dreams. This pandemic will improve and we will rise. As we graduate today, I encourage you to look back at your accomplishments. Celebrate your first of many accomplishments because two months will not ruin this moment or the past memories made during our time at Liberal High. This day is not defined by a gown or a piece of paper. Graduation is defined in the determination we have to work and make our dreams a reality. So graduates, my advice to you is to not stop believing in yourself. Be someone your seven-year-old self would be proud of. This is the first step into our new journey. May God bless each and every single one of you. And remember, once a Redskin, always a Redskin. Thank you. Thank you, Edna. Good morning, and welcome to commencement exercises for the Liberal High School Class of 2020. Your attendance here today speaks volumes to the love, support, and care that each one of these graduates benefits from, and that has no doubt helped them reach this important milestone in their lives. As we begin this morning's ceremony, I would like to take this opportunity to introduce the individuals who share the stage today. As I call your name, please stand and remain standing until you have been introduced. Dr. Todd Carter, Deputy Superintendent of Schools. Mr. Alan Brown, USD 480 President. USD 480 Board Members, Mr. Mike Brock, Mr. Stuart Cobble, Ms. Kathy Fitzgerald, Mr. Nick Hatcher, and Ms. Naomi Vargas. And finally, we are honored to share the stage today with this year's LHS Distinguished Educator of the Year and Reader of Graduate Names, Mrs. Melissa Westerman. Ms. Westerman has been a chemistry teacher at Liberal High School for the past 24 years and in USD 480 since 1992. In addition to teaching chemistry, Ms. Westerman has also been the District Science Engineering Competition Coordinator, a member of the Allen Shepard Project Redesign Team, and is currently a member of the Emporia State Alumni Executive Board. She is respected by students and colleagues alike for her ability to instill the same love and passion that she has for science in her students and for challenging them to achieve more than they ever thought possible for themselves. As evidence of the success that she has helped students to attain, she has mentored 12 students to the International Science Fair competition and numerous others to both the district and state levels. Ms. Westerman is truly a distinguished educator and has blessed the lives of countless students. Please join in giving all of these individuals, individuals a warm round of applause. Thank you. Today is a formal recognition of the milestone which each of these students has reached and a celebration of them moving to the next phase of their lives. We, while indeed we celebrate the achievements of each individual, today's exercises are in honor of the entire class. To provide the atmosphere of honor and dignity that the class of 2020 so richly deserves, we ask that you enjoy this morning's ceremony while being mindful of the following. Please do not enter within the fenced area at any time. Please do not use artificial noisemakers. 
Please hold your applause and refrain from cheering or calling out a graduate's name until the entire class has been recognized. And finally, most importantly, out of respect for the today's graduates, we ask that at the conclusion of the ceremony, everyone remain where you are until the final graduate has left the stadium. Thank you for your cooperation and support today. Members of the Board of Education, District Office administ Administration, faculty, staff, family, and friends, it is an honor for me to certify to you today that the list of 274 students before you have met their requirements for high school graduation as set forth by the State of Kansas and the USD 480 Board of Education. We are incredibly proud of each of them and their commitment and perseverance in earning their diplomas. Class of 2020, Today gives an entirely new meaning to the cliche, we finally made it to this day. Anyone else pinch themselves a few times this morning to convince yourselves that this day had truly come? Or maybe that you were just good and awake this morning. Nonetheless, in addition to today being a milestone in the life of a high school graduate, it is also a symbol of hope. Following months of quarantine and alterations to the lifestyle that we were once accustomed to, there are some traditions that still remain and a multitude of opportunities that lie ahead for each and every one of you. Today, you are high school graduates, and in these next several moments and within this facility, our attention is devoted to you and to providing you the recognition that each of you so aptly deserves. Each class that has entered and exited the doors of LHS has left a distinct legacy that was shaped by the personalities, contributions, accomplishments, and aspirations of its graduates. The class of 2020 is certainly no exception. Your distinction lies in your 2020 vision. And if you bear with me to look beyond what at surface level may sound like merely a corny reference, I believe that you will agree that this description fits you to a T. You see, there's a common misconception that 2020 vision implies that a per person has perfect vision. In reality, it is the value that represents the clarity or sharpness of your vision. The class of 2020 understands that perfection does not exist when it comes to defining and achieving a vision. Thus, you did not allow fear of not become, being perfect keep you from stepping out to try a variety of school activities, take challenging classes, lead teams and organizations, and suggest new ideas that could benefit the entire school. All the while, you all continually strive to identify and clarify a unique vision for yourselves. As evidence of this, your class has amassed over 1,000 college credit hours, earned 22 certifications, and even associate degrees in a variety of, of areas, including certified nurse's assistant, automotive technology, natural gas compression, OSHA, and several others. Additionally, you demonstrated your will willingness to sharpen your vision to see beyond yourselves through community service. Your class gave more than 5,500 hours of your time to community service. Additionally, as indicated by your red and black cords, nearly 200 of you participated in at least one activity representing LHS in a positive light. For all of these accomplishments, you deserve a hand. Liberal High School's vision for our students is to provide each of them with the angry red advantage. This means that our goal is for each graduate to leave LHS with the confidence that the skills, knowledge, and mindsets they have gained will set them apart in any of your future endeavors. For the class of 2020, 70% will be pursuing higher education, either at a two-year or four-year college or technical school. About 25% of the class has already secured employment many of them using the certifications they earned while in high school. And nine members of the class of 2020 have enlisted in the military. Some are with us today, while others have already deployed. A few others are in the process of finalizing their plans. Class of 2020, in what other, whatever path that you have chosen, we are certain that each of you have developed the grit, passion, and perseverance to do whatever it takes to, to overcome any obstacle to set and accomplish a 2020 vision. Before segueing to our final recognitions of the class of 2020, it is important to acknowledge that shaping and development of our graduates was a team effort to support, encourage, and inspire each of them. 
parents, families, teachers, paraprofessionals and administrators, office staff, school nurses, counselors, social workers, custodians, maintenance staff, food service workers, friends, bosses, and a host of other community members have all made significant commitments and contributions in countless ways to provide our students with the preparation needed for them to have the An Angry Red Advantage. Let's take a moment to applaud the contribution that each person in the lives of each graduate has made, making them who they are to become strong, successful citizens. We now turn our attention to the National Honor Society. The silver cords worn by some of the students indicate their election into the National Honor Society and give special recognition to those who have attained the highest academic honors. At this time, it gives me great pleasure to present in alphabetical order the top 10% of this year's graduating class, followed by the members of NHS. Graduates, please stand when I call your name and remain standing until the names of all members of the LHS chapter of the National Honor Society have been announced. The top 10% in alphabetical order. Joshua Arafal, Leslie Armanderas, Julie Chavira Lozano, Maria Cristina Coronado, Jesus Achari Borbola, Mackenzie K. Farmer, Eileen Felix, Audrey Gilmore, Ian Hayes, Monica Hernandez, Katie Marie Harina, Mackenzie Lynn Cap, Charles William Kendall, Edma Lisbeth Landa Lozano, Fernanda Maria Martinez Penuelas, Jocelyn Madrano Barre, Sarah Rose Meehan, Jocelyn Jeanette Mendoza, Jensen Wesley Metlin, Lexi Renee Potters, Alexa Puerto, Eric Rodriguez, Britton Rain Romero, Hannah Nicole Rosales, Hunter K. Thomas, Stephanie Treviso, Alexis Marie Van Wy, Reagan Allie Watt, Mandy Zhang. The following seniors are also a member of the Liberal High School Chapter of National Honor Society in alphabetical order. Jaime Arnivas, James Armstrong, Eduardo Avila, Alondra Bolivar, Grace Crossman, Cyrus Dunlap, Miriam Garcia, Elizabeth Lee, Hunter Hatcher, Lee Hatcher, Ashley Hernandez, Braxton Hyde, Yasmin Ibarbo, Heidi Marino, Leslie Martinez, Elijah McCarter, Mackenzie Miller, Micaiah Mullins, Anahi Navarrete, Macy Reeves, Baylor Roberts, Leslie Rodriguez, Natalie Tafoya, Vanessa Tarasas, Erica Valverde, Jade Vargas, Jasmine Vasquez Garcia, America Zamora. We'll give them a hand, please. You may be seated. In closing, Liberal High School is so proud of each and every graduate. We look forward to the ways you will make your mark on the world. Congratulations and best of luck, Liberal High School, class of 2020. We now turn to the valedictorian and co-salutatorians. The recognition of valedictorian and salutatorian during commencement exercises is always a special moment. It not only offers the top two students, and for the class of 2020, the top three, of the class an opportunity for special recognition of their academic achievement, their character, and their service to the school, but it also gives them an opportunity to address their fellow graduates as they conclude this chapter of their lives. It is now my pleasure to present these honored graduates. Parents of these graduates, if you will please stand as we introduce your child and remain standing until they take the stage. 
First co-salutatorian, it is an honor to announce to you this morning is for the class of 2020 is Miss Katie Harina. And Miss Hunter Thomas is the second. Katie Harina is the old, oldest daughter of Brett and Holly Harina. Katie has been involved in, the multi, in multiple athletics and extracurricular activities at Liberal High School. She has been a part of the cross country team for three years, selected team captain for two, WAC MVP once, qualified for state twice, and was an all state recipient one year. Katie played for the LHS varsity basketball team all four years. During this time, she was a captain for three years, three-time WAC Player of the Year, and a three-time All-State selection. In track, Katie qualified for state all three years and received two All-State awards. Activities Katie was involved in were FCA, Senior Representative and Student Council, and accepted into the National Honor Society. For the last two summers, Katie played basketball for the Oldie Elite Organization, competing around the U.S. against some of the best basketball players in her class. Katie was a recipient of the Kansas Scholars Award and the Governor Scholars Award. Katie plans on attending Abilene Christian University, where she will be playing basketball and studying kinesiology to work in functional medicine. We now welcome Katie Harina. Congratulations to the class of 2020. What a roller coaster ride we've been on. I want to start off by saying thank you to the school board for approving and allowing all the memorable trips and activities we have experienced and positively supporting us as students. Teachers, support staff, coaches, and administration. Each and every one of you make an impact on students each and every day. Your kindness and your love of teaching does not go unnoticed. We appreciate your bad jokes, quirky dances, motherly stares, and yes, even your tough love speeches. Parents, family, and friends, thank you for not only being supportive, but patiently waiting and still celebrating with us here today. There are so many people that have helped us get to this point today that the word community does not seem large enough to describe our support system. To my teammates, classmates, and friends, we did it. We are not only an ordinary class, we are an extraordinary. Can't wait to see what the future holds. As you reflect on your journey from preschool to get to kindergarten, to now. We all may have taken a different journey to get here, but we are, are here celebrating the same goal, graduation. My biggest takeaway from my experience is that we would all love to believe we are in ultimate control of our lives, but there are, are just some things that you cannot prepare for, like corona. I am blessed to be going to a college to play basketball with an amazing staff and players who have already become friends and family. My head coach, Julie Goodenough, wrote and released a book this spring called Team First Wins about their first season to make it to the NCAA tournament. Those of you who know me know how much I love to read, but I figured I better read what I was getting myself into since she is my coach for the next four years. Coach Good Enough talks about controlling the controllables and three things that we can control every day, our attitude, our energy, and our communication. No, Coach Kruger, I know we cannot control the refs. First, attitudes. Charles R. Swindle, the author of The Grace Awakening, writes this about attitude. The longer I live, the more I realize the impact of attitude on life. Attitude is more important than the past, than education, money, circumstances, failures and successes, and much more than what other people think, say, or do. Our attitude unlock, 
other factors in our lives is something we can control and, if necessary, change each and every day of our lives, depending on what we were facing that day. We cannot change our past, predict our future, change how others act and react towards us. In other words, these are matters beyond our control. We cannot change the inevitable. We are all in charge of our attitudes. Second, energy, or our effort every day. It is really, really hard to play basketball when you have no energy and you are just going through the motions. Coach Fowler was an amazing being our team cheerleader. She is an energy giver. She did an amazing job of getting all of us ready to play and excited, and that excitement and energy is contagious. Zero energy is also contagious. Use your energy for giving and controlling what good you can do every day. Be an energy giver. Third, communication. Communication on the basketball court is vital. When we were behind three points to Dodd City, with 42 seconds left, Coach Kruger took a timeout. We huddled up and drew up our play to try and tie the game. What happened? We ran the play wrong, and they knocked the ball out of bounds. In life, communication skills are important to living a happy and prosperous life. Effective communication includes honest, trust, love, bonding, sharing, care, and friendship between various types of communities, religions, and people. And in case you were wondering or remember, after the Dodge City knocked the ball out of bounds, we got another chance, we communicated, we ran the play, and made the shot. We found a way. Controlling the controllables. No one can control a virus, but we can control what we give and get out of life. Don't let the negativity affect you. Be a light, an energy giver, and most importantly, find your way. Hunter Thomas is the daughter of Chris and Shadra Thomas. She has been an integral part of the LHS Redline Dance Team for four years, both as a dancer and choreographer. During her sophomore, junior, and senior years, she was chosen as the NDA All-American Dancer and represented LHS in the Disney World Christmas Parade all three of those years. Some of the many accomplishments Hunter has achieved during her time at LHS include being recognized as Coastal Lutatorian for the Senior Class of 2020, receiving the Kansas Scholars Award, the Governor's Scholars Award, and graduating with an Associates of Science degree from Seward County Community College with honors. In her free time, Hunter enjoys writing, drawing, and listening to music. Hunter has been accepted into the School of Architecture and Design at the University of Kansas and plans to study graphic design and animation. Please welcome Hunter Thomas. Good morning, students and staff, friends and family. Today, we come together to celebrate the class of 2020, finally. This class has been through a lot over the past four years. We've been through several threats and lockdowns. We've been through a complete redesign of how we did things. And of course, we've been through a pandemic. A pandemic that took away our senior year. All of our lasts happened a lot sooner than any of us realized. Our last prom, our last walk through the halls, our last championship basketball game. We had whole seasons taken from us. Spring sports were cut off before they could even begin. Track, baseball, softball, tennis, swim, soccer, all of these athletes missed out on their last games and meets. We were no longer able to go on college visits, 
almost like our future plans had been cut off. We no longer get to go to our college orientations, at least not like they used to be. We lost parties and hangouts. We lost senior trips. We lost so much, but from it, we gained so much more. While writing this speech, I stumbled across a quote that summed up that, this class pretty well. It read, when you focus on problems, you'll only have more problems. When you focus on possibilities, you'll have more opportunities. So instead of focusing on all of the bad, let's focus on all of the good things that have happened in our time in high school. First, we were given the opportunity to explore our passions through internships, giving us something better to do with our free time that came with the redesign. We were allowed to take time out of our school day to gain real work experience that would help with our future plans. Second, we were allowed to take classes at SCCC while continuing our classes at the high school. This gave us the opportunity to do more with our education, and some of us, myself included, were even able to graduate from college before we graduated from high school. Lastly, we were allowed to experience a real graduation. We were given the opportunity to gather here today in our caps and gowns with all of our friends and family watching. There was a time where the closest we would get to this was a recognition at a football game. We thought we wouldn't be able to celebrate like the classes before, but here we are. After everything, we made it to this point right here. So as I make it to the end of this speech, I want to take a second to congratulate every single one of my classmates. Don't think of these last couple months as a negative because those months are what pushed you to where you're going next. Keep going and stay positive because you will all do amazing things. Thank you. It is an honor to announce to you this morning that the valedictorian for the class of 2020 is Miss Reagan Watt. Reagan Watt is the daughter of Earl and Heather Watt. During her time at LHS, Reagan has been involved in student council, NHS, book club, volleyball, basketball, and softball. In student council, Reagan was elected as the freshman class president and the senior class president. She has been in NHS since her sophomore year and was a junior representative and president of the NHS this sen her senior year. She has been involved in the volleyball program all four years and received the Redskin Pride Award her sophomore year. Her senior year, she received the Attitude is Everything Award at the University of Nebraska Volleyball Camp, as well as being a team captain. She was a part of the basketball team that went to state three years in a row in which she received a Teammate of the Year Award her junior year. She also has been on the varsity softball squad for all four years of high school, where she was an All-State Honorable Mention her junior year. Reagan was the All-WAC academic team for volleyball, basketball, and softball. Reagan also received several academic awards throughout high school. The Kansas Scholars Award and Governor's Scholars Award have been the highlight of her academic achievement. She will be attending Seward County Community College for her first year, where she will be playing softball for the Lady Saints before transferring to KU, where she will major in aerospace engineering. We now welcome Ms. Reagan Watt. Thank you, Mrs. Kappelman. Everything I did before this moment was for me, and the reward I received was for me. But this speech is different. The only reward from this speech is what you, the class of 2020, take from it. The words that I'm about to say, and whether or not you listen to it or not, is up to you. I know most of you are here just to get the certificate and walk, which is fine. I'd like to think that none of you are listening. It makes it a lot less scarier. You guys are pretty scary. 
You guys look a lot older because of quarantine. But before I get any further, I'd like to say congratulations. We did it. The day has finally came where we are no longer high schoolers. Four years at that building right over there. Yes, some of it was very crazy, hectic, and fun. A lot can happen over four years. From just having fun in the cafeteria to watching Yazbek eat a whole clove of garlic in the science PLT room. I just want to say that I'm so proud of every single one of us. Everything that we have done at LHS is outstanding, and I don't think I'll see another class face what we have. The class of 2020 will not be forgotten, and I'm proud to say that. We aren't all athletes or sports fans, but there are great lessons to learn from sports, and there are many I've learned here at LHS, but two stick out that can be applied outside of sports. Let me first off by saying that I am no athlete and never will be. I am a person who likes to play sports, which means if I wanted to succeed, I was going to have to work 10 times harder than anyone else, which was my first lesson, that if you wanted to succeed, you are going to have to put in the work. If you really want to be good at something, or at least okay in my case, you have to decide to work harder. I think back to my sophomore year when I found out I had made the varsity basketball team, which I did not want to be on varsity that year. I thought I wasn't ready. I wanted to have fun on JV. But I accepted the challenge. So if I wanted to get some playing time on the varsity squad, I was going to have to step it up a notch. To see the hard work that not only I, but my teammates had put in for that nice, pretty 23-0 is something I will cherish forever. Hard work, however, does not just end in sports. It applies to life and every aspect, from your job, to your family, to your education. The second lesson I learned is to get out of your comfort zone. Being uncomfortable is good. When your two stud posts get in foul trouble and you have to go in and guard the six foot two girl from Manhattan, it's okay to feel like your lungs are falling out. The thing about being uncomfortable is that it's only temporary and after a while, it becomes normal. I think after today, a lot of us will be in uncomfortable positions and we will have to get out of our comfort zones. These uneasy situations will over time become comfortable. You just have to dive in head first to get past being uncomfortable. What I'm trying to say here is to embrace being uncomfortable. Being uncomfortable can lead to great rewards, like winning the sub-state game and qualifying for state. However, we can't let these accomplishments be the finish line of our lives. These great accomplishments are only the beginning to what's ahead of us. Let these achievements be the starting line to the rest of our lives. Now, I have something for each of you, and I've placed it under your seats. You can look and see that there's nothing there. It's empty, nada, almost like your future. Everything beyond this point is blank. There's a blank slate in front of all of us. And what you decide with that blank slate, well, that's up to you. Some of us have somewhat of an idea of what our slate will look like, but some of us are intimidated by it. At least I know I am. And that's the joy of life. You never truly know what's going to happen. You might get stuck inside for several months, fighting over toilet paper. What I really want you guys to hear is that these last four years at LHS cannot be the best four years of your life. I'm not saying to forget the good times or accomplishments you've achieved, but that it's only the beginning. Let our time at LHS be the foundation to our future. The class of 2020 will be the best in every career field out there. I just know it. From what we've done here at LHS, there's no telling what will happen next. There is so much heart in every single one of us, and I don't think the world's ready for it. I've seen how much pride and passion this class puts into projects, and it really gets me excited about the future. There is nothing this class can't do. Or we can be complacent by just receiving the certificate and walking across this stage. Let this 
be the match that lights your flame. This certificate is only the beginning, and there are bigger and better things ahead of you. Hoy es un día perfecto para empezar a vivir tus sueños. And for those of you who don't understand Spanish, it means today is a perfect day to start living your dreams. Our stories are just beginning. Our time here at LHS is the prologue to the story of our lives. We are the writers, and we get to decide what happens next. Today is a new chapter in every single one of our lives, and a darn good time to start doing what we really want to do. Please, don't get caught in the flow of what you're doing now. Don't be afraid to get out of your comfort zone and start doing what you've always dreamed of. There will be troubles and tribulations in everything we do. We are going to have to work for it. Success doesn't come easy. If it was easy, everyone would be a state champion. We have to continue to face challenges and to grow and learn from them and add in another exciting chapter to your life story. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2020. The class of 2020, as everybody's told you so far, you've made it. Congratulations. Today, you close the door on your past and open the door to the future to begin the next chapter of your life. To the Board of Education, Mrs. Kappelman, Liberal High School Principal, has verified the students before you today has, have successfully completed the course of study set forth by the State Board of Education in USD 480 they now may receive their liberal high school diplomas. Would the first row of graduates please stand and make your way to the podium for the presentation of diplomas. Edma Landa. Katie Horina. Hunter Thomas. Reagan Watt. Jasmine Vasquez Garcia. George Aguirre. Mary Cruz Aguirre. Abraham Alonzo. Jennifer Amancio. Chrissy Anderson. Andrea Andrade. Joshua Arafa.
Montaña Arcos Salgado. Diego Ariano. Adriana Arenava. Jaime Arenavas Hernandez. Leslie Armendares. James Armstrong. Manuel Arroyo. Israel Avalos Baraza. Eduardo Avila. Gabriel Banuelos Gonzalez. Dana Baraza Mata. Araceli Bazerta. Eric Bayo Barrera. Marcos Bena. Aaron Bocardo Covarrubias. Alondra Bolivar Jimenez. Janice May Balaguer. Skyler Brady. Christian Bravo Mata. Elizabeth Barciaga Garcia. Nayeli Burgos. <laughs> Beth Bush. Estrella Bostillo Hiel. Yaneli Cabrales. Kimberly Cadina. Herman Cardiel Acosta. Saul Cario Mercado. Montserrat Castañón Reo. Jose Castro Vargas. Edgar Castro. Gael Casares Ponce.
Maria de Pilar Casares. Ashley Cecil. Michael Ceresetis Martinez. Angelica Chavez. Sergio Chavez Adami. Julie Chavira Lozano. Alexander Chavira. Ashley Anaya Alakan. Daniel Colorado Lemus. Maria Coronado. Grace Madeline Crossman. Laisha Cruz Gonzalez. Brittany Cruz Marino. Chris Cruz. Crystal DeLoya. Alondra Devora. Leonardo Diaz Campos. Emmanuel Dominguez Rosales. Brianna Dozier. Cyrus Dunlap. Chung Dung. Desiree Duran. Jesus Echari Borboya. Christian Escuera Gonzalez. Mackenzie Farmer. Eileen Felix. Seth Fitzgerald. Levi Flores Macias. Abram Flores Pisano. Joanna Flores. Nancy Flores. Gustavo. Gallegos Garcia.
Eric Gandara. Yarenia Garcia Camacho. Juan Pablo Garcia Covarubias. Miriam Garcia Hernandez. Antonio Garcia Ramirez. Cielo Garcia. Aracio Garcia. Jacqueline Garcia. Jennifer Garcia. Julissa Garcia. Luis Garcia Mosqueda. Jesus Jaron. Francisco Gomez Ibarra. <laughs> Jolene Gonzalez. Ulysses Gutierrez Vega. Andrea Guzman Soto. James Hamill. <laughs> Hunter Hatcher. Lee Hatcher. Ian Hayes. Angel Hernandez Cuellar. Alvaro Hernandez. Eric Hernandez. Maria. Hernandez. Marissa Hernandez. Monica Hernandez. Salma Hernandez. Ashley Hernandez Vasquez. Sophia 
Hinojos. Claudia Garcia. Alia Hall. Braxton Hyde. Yasmin Ebarbo. Mackenzie Cap. Charles Kendall. Jared Laguna. Justin Lamb. Gabriel Hinton. Anna Emol Alonzo. Lacey Lanning. Elizabeth Lee. Victor Lamond. William Lamond. Jacqueline Linton. Ada Lopez. Fabian Lopez. Giselle Lopez. Destiny Lovato. Zeth Manzel. Daniel Madden. Heidi Marino. Fernanda Martinez Benuelas. Anthony Martinez. Elizabeth Martinez. Janelle Martinez. Jimmy Martinez. Leslie Martinez. Kenya Martinez Mesta. Kobe Martinez Zapian. Elijah McCarter. Brianna Medina. Jocelyn Madrano Barre. Sarah Meehan. Leslie Melendez. Aaron Mendez. Carla Mendoza. Yamalet Mercado. Just. 
Jensen Metlin. Leila Meza. Mackenzie Miller. Jesus Molina Pena. Emilsa Monares Romero. Alfredo Mancayo. Gerardo Gerardo Franco Angelica Montoya Vanessa Anahi Mora Makaya Mullins Kimberly Munoz Vias, Julian Munoz, Anahi Navarrete, Alia Wen. Julian Lee Ozuna Juan Nicholas Juan Angel Ochoa Rios Cielo Maria Ortiz Ordonias Jocelyn Mendoza Jocelyn Pacheco Rodriguez Alexia Pavia Fernanda Barres Maldonado. Alejandro Perez. Jacqueline Perez. Kelly Perry. Eliza Pineda Aiden Pittman Jennifer Ponce Marino Aisha Lynn Porras Isaiah Porras Lexi Potters Cody Presley Alexa Yanira Puerto Yanela Quintana Valdez Jonathan Ortiz Cindy Quintero Jesus Quintero
Travis Rader. Omar Ramirez. Santiago Ramirez. Alejandro Ramos. Macy Reeves. Skyla Ricks. Amy Rincon. Joanny Rios. Angel Rivas. Ulysses Rivera Gonzalez. Joan Rivera. Baylor Roberts. Cindy Robles. Leslie Idaliz Rodriguez Blanco. Alan Rodriguez de la Torre. Edgar Rodriguez Ramirez. Eric Rodriguez. Jasper Rodriguez. Mariana Romero Hacas. Britton Romero. Isabel Romero. Fabian Rosales Camacho. Alexis Rosales. <laughs> Hannah Rosales. Lathan Rose. Shaketra Ross. Luis Ruelas. Valeria Ruvalcaba. George Sainz Covarrubias. Juan Salais Estrada. Naomi Salinas Gonzalez. Seth Salinas. Isaiah Sanchez. Jesus Sanchez Leva. Lynette Sopovida Amanderas.
Nayeli Salerio. Christian Sobavado. Dulce Maria Sosa Guadagnero. Dayan Soto Martinez. Trayson Stebbins. Brian Simons. Thank you. Natalie Tafoya. Yoselin Tarin. Vanessa Tarazas. Landon Thomas. Eduardo Torejo. <laughs> Stephanie Torviso. <laughs> Noemi Tiana. Lisbeth Valencia Perez. Adamaras Valenzuela. Chaye Valles Perez. Erika Belverde. Jesse Belverde Galias. Alexis Marie Van Wy. Jade Vargas. Destiny Ariana Vasquez, Lester Vieda, Alan Biscada, Anthony Biscada Seha. Jonathan Vo, Jasmine Washington, Bianca Torres, Shaley Wheeler. Nashayla Witherspoon. America Zamora.
Brianna Zuniga. Esteban Dominguez. Fatima Gaetan. Mandy Zhang. Maria Jose Sebastian. Shania Dinkins. Cesar Dominguez. Good morning. My name is Jasmine Vasquez Garcia, and I am this year's senior class vice president. First and foremost, I would like to thank everyone who came to this ceremony in support of a loved one, despite being in the middle of a global pandemic. Your support means a lot to us. I would also like to take this time to thank my parents for their everlasting support throughout my life. Without them, I wouldn't be standing here delivering this speech to you all. Some people may think that this is the end for us, but it is only the beginning. We will go on to become the new leaders of tomorrow. I wish the best for each and every one of you. Congratulations, class of 2020. Before we conclude this ceremony, I would like to translate my speech in Spanish. Buenos días, me llamo Jasmine Vázquez García y yo soy la vicepresidenta de nuestra clase. Primeramente, quisiera darle gracias a ustedes por venir a esta ceremonia a pesar de estar viviendo en medio de una pandemia global. Agradecemos su presencia y apoyo. También quisiera tomar este tiempo para darle gracias a mis padres por todo su apoyo durante toda mi vida. Sin ellos no estuviera aquí presentándoles con estas palabras que escribí. Algunos pensarán que este es el fin para nuestra clase, pero este simplemente es el comienzo. Nosotros viviremos a cumplir todas nuestras metas y somos el futuro de esta sociedad. Espero lo mejor para cada uno de ustedes. Felicidades, clase de 2020. Will the class of 2020 please stand up?
Take a moment to look out into the audience and wave to the people who have supported you along your journey and are here to celebrate this important milestone. It has been a hard fought and interesting journey, one that we will all remember. But now is the time. You have made it. You are now officially a graduate of Liberal High School. This is your moment. Would you please turn your tassels? Congratulations to the class of 2020!